Kansas City. Nice looking hospital. See this a lot too. The uh, roofs of these old hotel and business type buildings. Get a bit of a thickening at the end, or at the top. Interesting, Kansas City was actually pretty heavily populated according to the Wikipedia census. Uh, just about 200,000 people, the turn of the century, turn of the 20th century. Just wanted to bring you a couple photos and postcards that I found. Don't have a lot to say about it, haven't looked too much into it, but like to bring the visuals. There's a beauty. I love a lot of these old hotels. I can just envision having a stay there. Although you hear a lot of stories how they were originally designed without uh, any sort of washroom facilities, a lot of them. And then that whole narrative overlaps with, well, we didn't have plumbing back then, we had to figure all that out. Then you look at all the streets and they're plumbed up nicely, so I don't know, there's definitely discrepancies. High school narrative comes up a lot too. High school is a huge part of the programming. Um, growing up, you sort of, Hollywood is pounded into our heads and we all go to school and you know, go to high school and you get fitted into your slot. Uh, so I think all that is part of the program. And here in North America especially, we're victims of the programming. I remember reading a book called The Children of Frankenstein, implying that what we are here in North America is really a... We don't really know our identity. We have all these nationalities that come together. And then I have this tragedy of history that's been put on us. And, uh, and the whole programming, right? The, uh, like I said, high school, war, military programming. Uh, when I think of American high school, I think of football, I think of cheerleaders. I think of that incessant push to achieve university scholarships, things like that come to mind. And then I look into a lot of these old photos and I think uh, something, something was there previous, something well established with a solid foundation and it just doesn't fit in with the narrative that uh, we've been given. So I think when we think of um, the Uni United States and the, the animosity people have toward the United States that's been programmed onto us as well, having to do with you know the things like the wars, um, unjust wars, interventionism, all that type of thing. Uh, and then people heap that onto um, the idea that is the United States of America. When I would suggest it's really that's all uh, um, nefarious shadow workers. I'll put it that way. Uh, people that I feature in my videos, groups that I feature in my videos. And the joke is on the people. And they pit us against each other. That whole divide and conquer thing. So, we need to wake up to the deception, no question, and realize that, uh, turn our attention on to the, really the mentality. It's very difficult to point, point fingers at people. Um, 
But if we can shake their programming, I think we're uh, off to the races. So just a quick look at Kansas City. I have started an Instagram um, account. And that's linked in my, uh, my, my about section here on YouTube. So if you enjoy these videos, if you enjoy the visuals and you feel like you have something to add to the conversation, please do. I, I enjoy the comments and I love the conversation. That's what it's all about. We're not in Kansas anymore. Kansas City. Oh, yes we are. <laughs> What's that one? The Wizard of Oz, right? The man behind the curtain. <laughs> Alright, this is a quick look at Kansas City with a bit of my rambling. Thanks for joining me.